everybody, how are you doing? My name is Producer Guy Phil, and I am a huge hockey fan. If you don't know that by now, you should know that I live and breathe NHL hockey. Right now, we are in the middle of the conference finals in the playoffs. It's an exciting time to be a hockey fan. The World Championships are going on, but you know what? All this hockey got me thinking. So, I was thinking the other day about who's going to be on the cover of next year. Personally, I think it's got to be McDavid. You got to pick McDavid, man. That's, that's just who I think will be on the cover. If not, maybe Jamie Benn might not be a bad one. Sidney Crosby, who hasn't actually been on it, which is surprising, but he would be a good one. So I got thinking, what would happen if I took a team full of everybody who's been on an NHL cover, whether it's been in North America, it's been across in Europe, it's been special Canadian edition covers. What would happen if I took all those guys, put them on a team? I wanted to see how badly they would run rough shot throughout the NHL. And oh baby, look at this team. They are looking filthy. Now, there was a couple things that I wanted to make sure that were kind of just mandated rules. And first of all, that would be that everybody who was on a North American cover had to be in the game. For example, people like Chris Pronger who hasn't been active since, I don't know, God, four years ago, he's on an active roster technically, he's in the game. Even people like the All-Star, who's in free agency, I had to put him on the team. And so everyone who was on a North American cover, and this is going back to 2000, that was the one Pronger was on, was 2000, that's 17 years ago. How nuts is that? That's, that's just, wow. Holy Mackinac, that is insane that he's still technically active in this game. So I'll show you the rosters in just a second. Now, here's a couple things I just want you to keep in mind at this moment in time. So, everybody who is on a North American cover is on this squad right now. So, there's going to be a lot of names you expect, and there's going to be some names you might not expect, which I'll go through in a second. You might see their name and be like, whoa, 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 what, what, what cover that were they on, sir? Sir, I have a problem with this roster, but you'll see in just a moment. Don't you worry your pretty little head. Don't worry. Papa PGP's got you covered. It's all right. Just listen to the nice sound of my voice. You're going to be fine. It's okay. So, starting lineup. Yes, assistant coach. Go right ahead. We got Ovechkin here. I'm going to do best line, so hopefully that'll still say the same. Looks like it will. We got Ovechkin, who was on in 07. Stammer from 2012, which was actually one of the first NHL games I picked up in a while. The last one, I believe, was 2006, and then I eventually got the hockey games back in 2012, and I haven't missed one since. Patty Kane, who was on in 2010, I believe. Yes, 2010. I get him and Taze mixed up because they were back to back. Was supposed to be on last year, but some charges came up. They were dropped. Let's move on. Tarasenko from this year, obviously. Claude Giroux from 13. Taser from last year. And whatever one Kane wasn't on, which I believe would have been 10. No, 11. Kane was 10. Taze was 11, I believe. 11 and 16. Guy's got two covers. Good for him. Stahl, I believe, was 2008. Bergeron, 15. Yogs. Yogs, man. I think you were on, like, an alternate cover, I believe. I forget which one. Tendon B was on an alternate cover, I think, for 14. I, I don't know. I think I went on, like, Wikipedia, the best reliable source. Iggy, I believe, was 2002. If I'm not mistaken, 2002. Nope, my mistake. 2003. The All-Star, Mr. 1507, was on the cover in 2004 before actually being replaced by Sackick, who in turn Heatley replaced Joe Thornton. It was just, it was just a mess. And then we got Yossi, who was an alternate cover in Switzerland. We got Dion, wham, wham, kablam, kablam, for 2009. Chris Pronger himself, like I said, for 2000. Wow, 42, man. And then we got Mark Streit, who was an alternate cover in, oh my God, what country was Mark Streit an alternate cover in? Uh, Switzerland as well. Wow, okay. Then we got Nino Niederreiter, also Switzerland. And uh, Mika Zibanejad. I don't know. I think it was just a Senators thing. Like, just a special, yeah, it was a special cover, like, in Ottawa when the game was released. And then let's check the pipes. Let's check our pipes. We got Henrik Lundqvist, obviously a wonderful Swedish uh, special cover. And then Jonas Hiller, which is interesting because I didn't think his stats would be this low. Like, oh, my goodness. Wow, he was undrafted, too. Uh, I guess from Switzerland. Wow. Apparently, the Swiss had a lot of different covers. You guys are cool. You may want a fair shake. So, with that out of the way, let's get started. So, I also did turn injuries off. I didn't even think about that. I've only made the roster to, like, the bare minimum to, like, has a team. 
So if anyone gets injured, I am screwed. So I turned off the rosters. Or not the rosters. I turned off the injuries. So basically, I don't have to go through the rosters. And we start with a loss. Oh my god. We start with two losses. Three losses. Oh my god. Oh my god. We haven't won a game yet. My prediction was going to be that like uh, we make it at least to the conference final. But oh my goodness. Starting off with like four losses in a row. And then, okay, we're... We're getting some wins back here, but that was unexpected. What was that? Oh, man. Four losses. Oh, jeez. One overtime loss. Three, four, and one to start the month. For the Toronto Cover Beauties, I would not have expected this. I'm hoping for conference final. This team has the firepower to win the cup, and we got some good goaltending. But defense is where I'm worried. We have to put two forwards on defense. Six, four, and one. There we go. Back over 500. That is where I wanted to be. I want us to be at at least 500. Now we're getting some insurance. We're on a pretty good win streak there. What is that? At least eight in a row? Nine in a row? And as I say that, we get our first loss in a while to Calgary. Big win over Vancouver there. Another win over the San Jose Sharks. All right. So I'm going to check around the All-Star break uh, where we are in the standings. I'm not going to make any line changes. That's not for me to do. I'm just theoretically seeing how well this team will play. And looks like we're getting a lot of firepower, but we're also letting in a decent amount of goals here. Like, look at some of these wins. Like, 4-3, we let in three goals. 7-2, let in two goals. 3-2, so... Have we had a shutout yet? I don't think we've had a shutout yet. I will look back maybe later. But let's move on to a December here. Let's just scroll down right here. Right past the Rangers. All right, so we need a big month here as well. Look at that. 15 wins already. Riding a good streak again. Don't lose... Okay, I was like, did I just jinx it again? Look like a home and home with Columbus. We lose to the Blackhawks. Interesting. 7 5 loss to the Flames. See, the Blackhawks are a team I would think we would lose to because I think in this game there's still Taze and Kane on there, technically. So they still got a good roster. We win against the Leafs in a high scoring affair. And all right. So 23 wins. I, we got to at least be in first place. We got to comfortably be in first place by now. If we're not, I'm going to be very shocked because I was like, what team could theoretically be ahead of us? The Rangers weren't doing that bad. What were they, 20 something and something? That's not that bad at all for the Rangers either. All right, so we're stopped here. What are the Rangers? 20, 14, and 4. Not bad. All right, moving on to January. Let's go right before the All Star game. Here we go. Right before the All Star game. 25, 10, and 1. Calgary, you're not doing that bad either. What about Vancouver? What are they? 15, okay. They're near the basement where I kind of expected them to be. No offense, Canucks fans. I guess just a weaker team overall this year, I guess. But I think they'll bounce back. The problem with the Canucks right now is where do they go? Are you a, are you a rebuilder? Are you a contender? Like, they need to figure out their identity. They need to figure it out really quick, personally. That's just what I feel. The Jets, they're on the rise. They just need to get better goaltending. They got all the firepower. Shifley, Little, Line A. They got big buff back on the D there. Like, they're a solid team. If they just get some solid, reliable goaltending, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Fine. I mean, I really like that Eric Comrie kid. Is he still there? He, I think he'd be okay. All right, let's go. Let's check some standings here. So look at that. We're first in our conference with 69, dude. Patrick Kane's got 70 points. Jesus, Murphy. Then again, look at the lines they're playing on. Like, come on. <laughs> kind of expected. First in the Pacific Division. Let's 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 just check each division here. So the Central, Chicago in first, Minnesota, Nashville. With Winnipeg and Dallas there. I don't know what the, um, let's see what the wild card standings are looking like here. All right, so it looks like they both got the wild card in the central there, which is not shocking. All right. The Atlantic, Buffalo, Buffalo, Tampa, and Florida. All right, let's check the mighty metro. I was going to say masty metro. The mighty metro. Looks like the Atlantic got both the wild card spots as well. Buffalo, that's shocking. I'm guessing Eichel must have grown a lot. Let's check out the points here. This is filthy. 70 points already for Patty Kane. Ovi's got 62. Stammer 61. Tarasenko 53. Like, look at all these. Like, we got at least one, two, three, four, five, six players who are a point a game. That is just disgusting. Look, even Tendenby's got more points than, like, a Ginla and Niederreiter. Poor Pronger. Down there with a 76. Got three points. So Ben and Jad, two points. All right, you know what? That's uh, that's okay. Let's uh, let's check the goalies. Let's see here. What do we got? Lundqvist, 26 wins, eight losses. Hiller, that's not good. He's about he's about 500. 
GAA of 3.09, eh, could be a lot better. Lundquist 2.33, all right, could be better. 9.19 save, 8.886, oh my, God. I told you, goaltending and D is where I was really worried. Let's check the NHL in points, actually. I meant to do that really quick. Let's check that, because we gotta be pretty much dominating here. Let's see. No, Kucherov! Kucherov here, okay. And sta and that Stammer, okay. I was like, what, our Stammer? And then Kane and Kane, <laughs> see how confusing this is? <laughs> All right, this is getting too confusing, but Kucherov, okay. Man, how, how killer of a signing is that for the Lightning? He is... He's making almost next to not, like, he should be making more than he is. And he's going to be putting up monstrous amount of points, man. As I'm jealous that the Lightning have Kucherov on that contract. That is just disgusting. Ugh. All right, let's go to the deadline. Let's see how we do here. Let's pick right back up where we started from, boys. Let's get some wins. Get some wins, guys. All righty. There we go. Some good back-to-back -back wins. We had a pretty substantial lead in our division, so... I assume making the playoffs, not going to be an issue. That's totally, totally fine. A big 1-0 win against the Penguins. They got Malkin, they got Latang, Crosby, Murray, and Fleury. Although, I don't know if one of them got traded yet. I imagine maybe one of them did. I don't know. But, here we go. 43 wins, and it's not even March. That's fantastic. You know what? We're doing as well as I thought we would have in the regular season. That start was scary. That's fine. I don't want to make any trades anyway. I'm pretty happy with my roster. I'll give you a 10 and B and a non-existent first. All right, 45, 16, and 1. Let's go right to April. This is a big month. Look how many games we got at least here. This is exciting here. Can we get 60? No, we can't. We can get at least 60 wins, right? We can get 60 wins. Come on. We, we can maybe get 70. 70 is looking like a possibility right now. Oh, See, we can only lose, I think, one more game in order to get 70 wins. Maybe. Maybe. This could happen. This could happen. We need to win every game from here on. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Damn. No, actually, what if I did the math incorrectly. What if I only lose, lost 12 games to get 70? All right. We can maybe hit at least 60 wins. I'm banking on us winning 60, like getting 60 wins. Not a problem. Not a problem. There we go. One, two. Oh my goodness. Look at this season right here. I assume we easily climbed into the playoffs. 62, 18, and 2. Let's go finish up. Let's check the regular season stats here if we can. I believe we can here. Stats central. Wow. Patty Kane. Our Patty Kane with 113 points. Our standard with 105. OV 104. Drew, 86. Tarasenko, 83. All right. So we still finish with five players that are about a point a game. Pretty good. Not bad. All righty. Let's see. Actually, let's see how well they did in terms of the NHL. Let's let's see. So who got the lowest on our team? Dion with 20. The All-Star finished with 25. Not quite 15-07, but 25-82 and 82 at his age. I'll take it. Zaban and Jad Pronger. Six points. You did it, buddy. Good job. Let's see how the goalies finished here. Handy the Tendy. 52 wins, 12 losses. One shootout loss? Really? 921 save percentage. Wow. Hiller only <laughs> went up by point, point 0.2. Wow. That is dirty. Point zero zero two. Marcos went up by point zero zero four. Not bad. All right. I'll take it. Looks like he grew to a 92. 3.19 GAA. It's, oh, it's not going to cut it, but that's good for a backup. 2.24 for Lundquist. All right. Not bad. Going back to the players again. Cause I, I keep flip-flopping back in things. Like the footwear, the same name. Let's go check the NHL standings here for the league. Did we win? Oh, yeah. Our cover beauties won with Stammer and Ovi. Taking the top three. And regular, regular came with number four there. But a big year for the Toronto cover beauties. For those asking why it's just Toronto, it's just the first thing I think it popped up as or whatever. I don't really remember. I did this like a week ago before I made this video. And the cover beauties with the nice beauty logo there, of course. All right, regular season has ended. That is fine. So I think we're going to be getting whoever is the second wild card. It's, it doesn't look like it's the Flames. I think it's going to be someone else. And we're going to be getting the Winnipeg Jets. All righty, the Winnipeg Jets. The lethal line is Shifley Little. Oh, my goodness. Ehlers. All right. Can we sweep them? 
Can we sweep? 4-1. 2-1. 2 Oh my god. Oh my god, this series is even? This series is even. Oh my goodness. Is this gonna happen? Oh my goodness! We are out in the first round. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Let's send my birthday June 9th. A couple of are gonna be probably done by then. The Winnipeg Jets beat the Toronto Cover Beauties in six games. Holy jumping. I said conference final. I did not expect. With a record like that, we get out in the first round. Are we the Washington Capitals? Like, easily the President's Trophy winners. And we get bounced in the first round. Are you kidding me? And the Rangers win the cup. Oh my goodness. What? What just happened? We get bounced. Holy. Whoa. I'm. I'm. <laughs> I can't even. Look. The President's Trophy. The Cover Beauties. The Minnesota Wild for the West. The Rangers for the East. Art Ross. Patty Kane. Hart. Patty Kane. James Norris. Roman Yossi. Lady Bing. Patrick Kane. Calder. Mitch Marner. Hey, good for you, Mitch. Good job, man. Con Smythe, Mika Zibanej. We had a Zibanej ad! But I guess he's being played in his proper spot. Dubnik with the... Really, with the... Uh, Fizna and Jennings. Good for you, man. Bo Meester with the Masterton. The Patrice Bergeron uh, Selkie Award, of course. Might as well just name it for the guy. Ted Lindsay for Patty Kane. And Maurice Richard for Chicago's Patty Kane. Alright, not bad. Oh my goodness. That is... Uh... I don't even, I don't even know what to, I don't know what to say right now, but, wow, that was, uh, was clearly shocking. Let's, can I see, like, can I see the playoff tree at least, you know, like, I, can I at least see the playoff tree, like, what just, what just happened, like, oh my god, that is embarrassing, like, the first seed, us, against the last wildcard seed, Jets, and they get bounced in the second round of the Ducks, oh my goodness, what just happened? And, oh, poor Washington out in the second round again. That is, oh my goodness. Well, you know what, guys? That is the end of this video. I'm going to be doing more of these little fantasy kind of ideas here. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments below. Be sure to like this video if you really liked it. Tell all your friends. Subscribe, please. More NHL stuff coming your way. I'm producer guy Phil, and I'll see you in the next one.